In this short demo, I will walk you through Microsoft's healthcare data solutions in Microsoft Fabric. We will start by first installing our healthcare capabilities, and then we will set up a simple data pipeline to bring healthcare data into Fabric. Within Fabric, we can find the healthcare data solutions by navigating to industry solutions and selecting the healthcare solutions icon. We can then go ahead and select the desired capability and click the deploy button to start the deployment. Once the deployment is finished, you can add additional capabilities as desired. In this case, I've added all the capabilities needed to ingest clinical and imaging data and then transform it into the OMOP CDM. Now that we have deployed the healthcare capabilities, I'm going to go ahead and set up a simple data pipeline that will act as the orchestrator of all of our healthcare transformation activities. In this pipeline, we will have four steps. First, we will export the fire data from the Azure Health Data Services fire server. Then we will ingest the raw NDJSON data into the Bronze Lake. Once in Bronze, we will then flatten and normalize the fire data into the Silver Lake. Finally, we will transform the fire data in Silver into the OMOP CDM in the Gold Lake. Once I save this pipeline, I can go and view all the pipelines that I've set up in this workspace. Here you can see both the clinical pipeline that I just set up and also the imaging ingestion pipeline that I previously configured and ran. Now that we have installed the healthcare data solutions and configured the pipelines, it's time for us to start ingesting the clinical data into the cloud. We will start by mimicking the clinical data coming from the EMR by sending fire bundles to the fire server. Once ingested, we will use the Power Platform to access and update the patient demographic data. We will then use the pipeline that I previously configured to ingest the data into Fabric and then transform it into a tabular shape. Finally, with the data transformed, we will go ahead and explore the data using both SQL and Power BI. I will start by using Postman to send clinical data to my fire server. Now that I've ingested clinical data into the Microsoft Cloud, I can use the Power Platform and the Dataverse Healthcare APIs to access and update information as needed. Within my healthcare app, I can start interacting with the clinical data. I can quickly identify all the updated patient records and open any records where I'd like to see more details. Here I can see that there are six new records that were updated today. I will use this later to validate that data is flowing properly to the lake. When I open the patient record, I can get an at-a-glance view of all their clinical information. I can assess their conditions, medications, past encounters, and look at the procedures that they've had. When I look at the profile information, I notice that the phone number is incorrect, and I update it to reflect the correct value. Now that we have inspected and corrected records updated today, the next step is to go into Fabric and start the pipeline to ingest the data into the lake. Within Fabric, I can open and run the pipeline that I created to ingest and transform clinical data from the Azure Health Data Services Fire Server. This pipeline will first export the fire data from the fire server. It will then bring the raw file data and transform it into Delta Parquet tables in the Bronze Lake House. It then transforms and normalizes the data in the Bronze tables and persists it in the healthcare data model, which is part of the Silver Lake House. Finally, it will take the flattened fire data from the healthcare data model and it will transform it into the OMOP CDM such that further clinical research can be performed. Once the pipeline has completed, I can then go ahead and start exploring the Fabric Lake House. Here in the Bronze Lake House, I can see all the raw fire and DICOM files that have been ingested from Azure Health Data Services via the Fabric Pipeline. If I look at the Bronze Lake House tables, I can see the pipelines have also ingested the healthcare data into Delta Parquet files, which allows me to start interacting with the data in table form. Here, I can see the DICOM Metastore Delta Parquet table. This contains the tags extracted from the raw DICOM images. If I explore the tables further, I can see the fire imaging study resource. In this case, the healthcare data solutions have taken the imaging data from the DICOM Metastore and have transformed it into fire. This is the first step to enabling the analysis of both my clinical and imaging data together. Next, let's have a look at the data in the healthcare data model. I will start by opening the Silver Lake House. Here, you can see and interact with all the fire resources as SQL tables. I'm going to run a quick query against the patient table to identify the patients that were updated today. Earlier, I inspected the data within the Azure Health Data Services Fire Server, and I found that six patient records were updated today. By executing a simple SQL query, I can see that the same six records were successfully brought into the healthcare data model. Now that I have validated that the updated data has flowed into the healthcare data model, I'm going to run a simple query to understand the gender breakdown of my patient population. I want to better understand this patient population and their drug interactions. For this, I'm going to open the OMOP Lake House. I can inspect the OMOP CDM and see common tables like drug era. In addition, I can also access the image occurrence OMOP extension. This table contains our transformed imaging data that we saw in the bronze earlier. To 
better understand my patient population, I'm going to run a quick query that analyzes drug exposure over a period of time for the drugs insulin and lisinopril. Upon executing the query, I can add a Power BI visualization to better understand the result. I can then save this visual as a report that I can reference or share later. When I open the report, I can start to leverage the Fabric Copilot to summarize, generate additional insights, or even answer additional questions that I have. In this demo, we saw how we can deploy, configure, and then leverage the healthcare data solutions in Microsoft Fabric by enabling customers to ingest, transform, combine, and analyze their healthcare data. The healthcare data solutions unlock the power of Microsoft Fabric for our healthcare customers.